Welcome back to Road to Valley Run season three, and this is episode number two. In the first episode, we basically explained what all we're gonna do this year, and we did some servicing and some things to my car. In the second episode, right now, yep, that is the car we were talking about, the X5 M50D. So it's a three-liter inline six, but it has three turbochargers, and it makes immense power. Now, the guy who owns it, my friend Ruduraj, he's come here for an EGR cleaning and everything. So we're going to show you the process of that because there are three different turbos. So yeah, basically three different EGRs to clean. And apart from that, we might be doing a stage one tune as well. So we're going to be discussing all of this in today's video. So stay tuned. While the boys at Auto Desir were working on the X5, I went out with Niranjan's Draghi to see if I can set any times and get an understanding of how launch control actually works. Alright, so we've just come out quickly. We're going to do a Draghi test run with my car just to see, you know, how it is performing. So we've come to a little open road over here nearby the workshop. We'll let some traffic pass by. It's a, it's a fairly non-used road. So don't worry about it, we're not obstructing any traffic or anything, but the road itself is really bad. So first launch I'm going to do with traction on because it's allowing me to hold three and a half thousand RPM on its own. So, Draghi? Oh, reset, yeah. Okay, this is not a straight road, so... We can't do too much tomfoolery over here. All of the roads are like really bad. 0 to 30 miles per hour to 3.84 seconds. And it may have M340. And 1 8th mile, 19 seconds. Chal, 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 wapas, wapas. Okay, okay, once more. Zero five seconds, zero to thirty miles per hour. Or hundred poche gaya. Hundred ne poche, thirty miles poche. <laughs> the roads only are we, not. We did fifty three miles fastest, not sixty. Okay, but ye launch achcha tha. Ah, launch was good. Okay, so we'll just head back down. Try and find a little bit of a better road, so you know we can do all this shit. Yeah, the road over here, we thought it might be good, but apparently it's really bad. Well, after that failure, we decided to do some testing on a different day and headed back to the workshop. A big shout out to Bridgestone India for sponsoring us yet again for our third year in the Valley Run. Now, you must already be familiar with tyres like the Balance B series or the performance oriented Potenza line of tyres or even the comfort oriented Turanzas. But Bridgestone has now come out with an all new tyre specifically designed for our Indian roads. The Bridgestone Cerdo comes with some state of the art tyre technology, stuff like a carbon tread compound with strong reinforcements, a double ply construction wall, and 3D tread for optimum grip, better safety, and all weather usage. What is more impressive is that the Sturdo, compared to its competitors, has 29% more tyre life. And when it comes to designing this tyre, Bridgestone India took into account the usage of the average Indian consumer. Consumer, and this tire is specifically made for our Indian roads. So if you're looking for a tire which has amazing grip, all weather usage and amazing comfort, the Bridgestone Sturdo is the way to go. So after that fail with the Laura's Draggy, we're back over here. So now they're just removing like some bits and pieces here and there like the intake and everything. And there are three different EGRs to the X5. So we're going to remove them, clean them, and then put it all back together. Maybe a service is needed. Let's see. turbo. <laughs> the EG 
GR. We've completely removed it. It took quite a while, like two to three hours easily. And basically what the EGR does, it recirculates gas back to the intake manifold and stuff. So all of your unburned fuel and everything goes through this and goes back into the intake manifold. So it gets quite dirty with carbon deposits everywhere. So we're gonna unscrew a few more things and then put it into diesel to clean it quickly. So the EGR has been now dipped into a cleaning solution. It's gonna be in that solution for the uh, like for basically the whole night. So we're gonna catch you tomorrow and see what's up with the X5. The next day. So it is the next day and the X5 is all done. They've put the EGR back into the car. Unfortunately, we couldn't film that, but they're now just topping up the coolant, doing some last minute changes. They're gonna do a complete scan of the car again just to make sure there are no more error codes. And after that, we'll take it up for a quick short drive up this hill and let's see how she's performing. So while the X5 is getting its last minute checkup, let me just quickly talk about the VRS230. So as you know, for the last two years, we've been running this car and Niranjan has been running it for the last, I guess, two years before that again. And this year, unfortunately, this particular car won't be running with us. Now, we do have another VRS230 running with us, a very similar setup to this car. And that is a blue car instead of a red car. And that is going to be running with us instead of this car. That's because Niranjan this year is not really interested in putting this car because the category which this runs in, which is the 07 category this year, it has become completely irrelevant. If you don't have a stage 3 car, it doesn't make sense because the turbocharger upgrade has become a free mod in the normal novice category, which is basically pro stock. The novice category was basically pro stock category last year. So the turbocharger has become a free mod now. So even in the normal novice category, you can run upgraded turbos, hybrid, hybrid turbos and all of that stuff. So this car has become totally irrelevant and especially since the M340i runs in the same category as this, yeah, this thing is just not fast enough. So now to get an understanding of if we can tune the car or not and basically no one in India has tuned a three turbocharger car except the guy who previously tuned this particular car which is Tunotronics. So apart from those guys, no one in India has tuned a tri-turbocharged car. So it's going to be the first time Auto Disney or any garage that we know of personally is going to be tuning a car like this. So for doing the tuning basically, Niranjan has to take a read of the ECU look at the stock file and then work upon it. So we have to remove the ECU completely right now to take a read. So we're gonna be removing the ECU. Let's see what happens. back everything we started the car once it started up but I guess we left the lights on and everything on for a little bit too long so now the battery is weak and it's not making the car start and as you know big engine lots of electrical so it takes a lot of load for the battery to start so for now we're trying to charge the battery because it's not starting up at all but the lights and everything are coming on so maybe another couple of more 10-15 minutes till the battery gets fully recharged and we can take it out onto the road for a quick spin So unfortunately we cannot do any more driving shots, uh, light is basically gone, even the car is going now, everyone's getting super late to go home, we'll be driving the X5 M50D very very soon, uh, so stay tuned for that video. Next video is mostly going to be the Hyundai Verna's intercooler or the Abarth Punto getting the uh, Forge Motorsport uh, air intake kit. So stay tuned for that, thank you so much for watching this video, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you in the next one.
Also, before I sign off, a big shout out to Downshift Store for giving us this amazing looking team kit for the Valley Run this year. I know this stuff looks absolutely amazing, so stay tuned on Instagram and get to know more about Downshift Store. We've shared all of their social media links down in the description.